grow up. Get off the roof! There you are, idiot. There you well, go. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, yeah? What a <laughs> woman, honestly. Okay, let's see. Go away, mate! Go away! She's doing one she's going on your purpose. She's doing one with the ladders. Mate, what? she's doing one with the ladders. She's off, look. <laughs> oh my god, why is she? <laughs> she's off, look. What? You've done one. I don't, mate, I'm not jumping now, no, it's, it's well far, I don't know how we're going to get down. Welcome back to the channel, this is GB Speaks Facts, and today I'm here to speak some facts. And the fact that today is, I appreciate every last one of you guys who have tuned into my videos, who tune in every day and all the new viewers. We're almost at 1k guys, I'm trying to get to that goal point, so as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you can stay tuned on these other Karen hunts going forward, but today's video, straight Great madness, guys. Let's just jump right into the hunt. Next, we have a Karen who is convinced a dozen donuts means 50? Talk about wishful thinking. I need more. Oh, yeah. More, more. Some jokes just create themselves. She actually convinced herself a dozen is 50 because donut shops usually only sell like a dozen at most. She alone is probably funding her local bakery shop. Clearly this next Karen wasn't in school the day that the rest of her class learned the lesson. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. First of all, second of all, you called my employee a bitch. I believe called for inappropriate, you're not gonna travel. We don't tolerate that crap with us at all. You can find another period of fun. I'd suggest hear it. Nope. If you acted appropriate and you weren't disrespectful, then I would let you travel. But unfortunately, you called my employee a bitch. Did you call my employee a bitch? You didn't. I was sleeping there. No, I did not. You didn't. So the other people I've heard you say it as well. So did somebody else? Yeah, she also had two children. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, don't lie, because you you already did that once when you took the mask off and put a new one of yours on. I was getting this out of my bag. Yes, I was. You were putting the same mask on. You didn't have a mask on when you went down. Can I tell you what happened? If you don't follow our policy, it's a period under discussion. You don't want to follow a federal mask mandate, and then on top of that, calling a vulgar name to my employee, it's not going to happen. What? This guy must be like a secret hunter on the channel or something because he took down this Karen in one shot. See Karen, maybe this is going to teach you to treat people nicer when they're working. And this Karen breaks the number one rule of England. You can bet that a Londoner will put her in her place. I doubt she'll be welcome at Buckingham Palace anytime soon. Right, grow up. Get off the roof! There you are, idiot. There you well, go. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, yeah? What a woman, honestly. Okay, let's see. Go away, Mike! Go away! She's doing one she's going on your purpose. She's stupid, isn't it? It's always here, look. Idiot. That's why she's just done it. She's been told multiple times to the rain. I know this one's out. This one's out. You just did it twice, sweetheart, and it's here on the I'll camera. I'll do it again, don't worry. I was good there watching. I won't do it again, don't I won't do it again, officer. Sorry about that one. Sorry. I won't. Don't you worry. She's 12 years old, honestly. What an absolute moron. You can't touch your range. You're not allowed to speak. Really not acceptable. Really annoyed me. What did you say, sir? I don't talk to idiots. Move on. Pardon? You heard what I said. Get you lost. You call me a bloody idiot? You are an idiot. You're acting like an idiot in public. You are being rude. I'm not being rude. I'm simply stating you a fact. You are a very rude boy. I don't want to talk to you. Get lost. You are a very rude boy. I'm not going to film you. You're wasting your time. Really? Yep. Stop Bye. Being rude. You don't exist. Bye. Stop being rude. Bye. Stop being rude. Go and get a life. Wait, wait, the woman who's here touching the reins in front of the kids is telling me to go and get a life. I'll get a life when you get a brain. How about that? I've got many reins, thank you very much. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Excuse me. Don't you laugh at me. Get lost. Go away. Are you being very rude? Don't be rude. Am I the only one that thought that the horse was going to like donkey kick her? Like I literally was 
I, I don't want to see no harm to her, but I was waiting to see her get donkey kicked. I'm sorry, I just have to say it. She's acting like she's five years old. This male Karen really believed that he was in the right until his fellow customers confront him for his disgusting behavior towards staff. Funny how quickly karma comes round, right? Either I'll make a phone call, I'll knock you out myself. He's a out of my face. Don't you ever talk to somebody in their job while they're doing their best to help you. And that's not their fault. Wait, let's go to your car. Let's go to your car right now. Let me get myself before the car right now. You picked the right one on the wrong day. Where are you? Where are you? Because this white motherfucker wants to f*** with me in this hurts office. Yup. What's up? Nobody in here is going to help you now. You disrespected him. So what's up? Didn't you just tell me to suck your What's up? Get the f*** out of here. I'll give you one more chance. I'll give you one more f***ing chance. Get the f*** out. Get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** he was talking all brazy until she got on the phone he probably started thinking oh my gosh he's gonna call tyrone this is gonna be like high school all over again and start thinking about he was gonna get swirly or something so he got out real quick see that's how you're supposed to fight off karen's good for her this crazy Karen will do anything to get her little Caesars, even try a toddler's tactics of having a tantrum. Attitude. You want an attitude? Now I'm gonna give you an attitude. Now I'm about to hold your mind up. I'm not asking for I'm not asking for I think this is actually good publicity for a little Caesars because I personally think their pizza tastes like cardboard and it's always like a day after kind of cold looking. It doesn't never look fresh. So the fact that someone's fighting this hard for this pizza, I, I think they should be like taking appreciation to this Karen. I, I don't know. This clip shows why Karens are always in the right, always above the law and can never be corrected in their own minds at least. I think it's disgusting that you're working at this time on a Sunday, have you got nothing better to do? We are permitted to start work from 8 a.m. on a weekend. I mean, we've got to crack on, or we're going to get in the neck from the boss. Now, fair enough, we started a bit early, but you know, I don't see what the problem is. My son is a lawyer, and this is breaking <laughs> noise pollution laws. And I'll have you know, there's a family across the road with a newborn, and all this racket is bound to make give them a load of stress. Well, if you're causing them stress, they can tell me. If you're causing you stress, I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if he's happy with it. That's fine. Is your client the woman who lives here? Yeah. Right, I'll speak to her then. Hey guys, it's me from the future. I just wanted to quickly say, isn't it crazy how when you just hear two English people speaking, it just kind of sounds like you're watching a movie or something? Like, the way she's talking is like she's one of the, I don't know, evil characters in harry potter or something it's, it's amazing I, I just had to say that let's jump right back into the video it's not necessary to bang that hard is it look i'll bang on this door as hard as i want don't you tell me what to do i'll tell you what to do did you give these men permission to start work here at this time on a sunday morning that's you're absolutely disgusting you should be ashamed of yourself Working at this time of the morning on a Sunday. Mate, she's doing one with the ladders. Mate, what? she's doing one with the ladders. She's off, look. <laughs> oh my god, why is she? <laughs> she's off, look. What? She's done one. I don't, mate, I'm not jumping now, no. It's, it's well far. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get down. Is, mate, she's just. That is ridiculous. She's just off, look. What's going on? Why have you took our ladders? I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. What? It's not how it's gonna work. You just give us the ladders back, or we'll just call the police. I'll give you the ladders back if you stop working. Oh, it's, it's not gonna work. work. Oh my god. Just give us the ladders back, we're stuck on the roof. You gotta love these type of Karens. It's like these guys are literally construction people doing their work. Like, who doesn't know a hammer is going to make noise if you have to put a nail to the wood? Like, she took their ladder and walked off. Honestly, honestly, man, that's pretty funny. She, she's the worst, but that that's funny for video sake. This Karen is insufferable. The way she treats this Uber driver should have her blacklisted for rides for the rest of her life. Please, the mask. 
Man, I'm cancer now. Cancer the f***ing you talking to me for? Excuse me. Cancer the f***ing ride. Cancer the f***ing ride. Man, I'm cancer now. No, you're not. You're trying to record me. You want to be a d***? I'm going to eat my f***ing food, b***. Cancer the f***ing ride. I'm going to get another one. I don't give a f*** about you recording me eating. Yes, I'm eating. I'm cancer now. Cancel. Okay, I'm cancelling them, no problem. Stupid. Go. Open the trunk in my f***ing bag. Here okay, so here's my theory. She has some sort of like Karen demon inside of her and the holiness from the Chick-fil-A that like whatever was in there was almost trying to purify that Karen, but it was working against each other. So there was a battle going on. Hence why she's acting like this, like a donkey, right? This poor man. But uh, I, hopefully after this Chick-fil-A is fully digested, it just cleanses everything from her body and she may go back to her regular form. Well, that's all folks. I'm still trying to personally figure out if that lady actually was like, you know, being possessed and if that purified chicken from the wonderful Chick-fil-A was trying to cleanse the Karen inside of her. Maybe guys, maybe Chick-fil-A is the answer to our solution to stopping these Karens. We just got to feed them a nice delicious chicken sandwich or some, you know, chicken with the, what do they call the waffle fries or whatever. It's going to be a bit expensive, but I think over time it's going to pay off for all of us. But you guys let me know in the comments below on what you think on these crazy entitled and just insane Karens in the video. And also take a look at the screen over here if you want to watch any other Karen freakouts. There's more than enough to go around on this channel. Remember to subscribe to the channel as well, like the video, and then uh, click the bell if you want to, you know, essentially be updated on the new posts as well. I'm going to go back to, you know, hunting some more Karens for you guys. So as always, GB's out this bitch. Peace.